We're going live. Going. We're going. Are we on the right way? We are live. What's up, Luke? What's up, Jeff? So, we um, got a massive, massive fragrance haul video for you guys today. We're going to go over some quickly, some not so quickly. Um, shout out to our follower, Gary, who sent us all these fragrances because he was moving and he couldn't take them with him. So, he gave them to us. So, shout out, Gary. Um, you ready to begin? All right. Should we wait a little bit? People to yeah, we can wait for people to, come in a bit. to hop on. And how's Boss Bottle? We're going to smell it real soon. Um, for those of you that are watching later, because we have a lot of people that watch the streams later, uh, we won't answer your questions as much because you guys are going to be following along so you can answer, ask us questions about the fragrances as we place them on. And check them out. That's cool. Cool. All right. What's up, Benjamin? Cobbs, hola, let's go. So this is the top of the box. This is Dunhill London Signature Collection Indian Sandalwood. Okay, I like sandalwood. All right, it's the bottle. I've never even heard of this one. <laughs> okay, know what? It, it kind of reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana the one. Oh yeah, okay, definitely, definitely. Speaking of Dolce Gabbana and the one, here's the second fragrance. So let's compare them right now. The one EDP. Okay, here's the one. Yeah. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, it's slightly lighter. Yeah. Slightly darker. Probably prefer that one. Yeah, I wonder what the dry down smells like too. Yeah, we'll test these out eventually. Why so many fragrances? Um, Gary, a, uh, a subscriber of ours, um, I guess he's moving, and he, he decided to just give us 50 of his fragrances because he could only take 50. So. Yeah, so he <laughs> kept 50 of his own, and then he gave us the ones he didn't use. Um, and he was either going to give them away or donate them to like Goodwill, so we picked them up. Yeah, so 50 fragrances, brand new, pretty much. Next on the list is Mugler Cologne. Uh, it's um, like a soapy yeah, it's, right? yeah. So I don't even think he's opened this before. Wow, yeah. It's like a yeah, fresh bottle. <laughs> I like a couple spray. Like a green soap. Yeah. Like so green soap, yeah. If you want to smell really clean, this is actually pretty nice for the gym. You just smell clean. Yeah. Like grassy soap guys. Yeah. Moogler clone. Nice. It's super affordable too. I think that these are only like 30 bucks. Or something online. All right. Next, we have Starwalker. Now, uh, you watch your videos. Walker. I own Starwalker, so now Luke owns Starwalker. Oh, cool, yeah. Uh, it's very like comforting. I think it's a comforting smell. Now, this was like a rainy day fragrance. Yeah, yeah. That's what I wear on rainy days. Okay, yeah. Very calm. Very clean. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Mont Blanc Starwalker. We got Invictus Aqua 2018. I used to have got the well. blue. Um, those of you who don't know, they reformulated 2016. This is 2018 version. Yeah. Don't go buy the 2016 version. It's not worth your money, but this one smells nice. It's good. Yeah. Remember, I had the original Aqua back in the day. Yeah. And it was like the frosted bottle. It's so they good. should have kept making the frosted bottle. Yeah. I love your blonde hair. Thanks. Show it off. No, I think <laughs> for a reason. But thank uh, you. We'll do a couple quick ones that we don't have anything to talk about. Sauvage EDT. Good fragrance. Light blue intense. Capri Sun strawberry kiwi. <laughs> and light blue. So we have light blue intense, oh. light blue, and then you own light blue Italian zest. So we can have three light blue ones. But the intense, yeah, very, very good. A lot of compliments on the light blue intense. Right. Or, oh, extreme, as I should say. Uh, wine by night. I own a bottle. Luke's gonna have a bottle oh, yeah, now. Cool. There you go. Um, if you watch any of our videos with Wonder by Night in it, it's yeah. either the favorite or second favorite. In yeah. Every single video. Women love that one. Um, here, I'll give you this one. Lucky. It's like the, you know, uh, sweet kind of like cola freight version of, I mean, one million's already super sweet, but it has like a Coca Cola kind of vibe, like a fizzy Coke, Coke to me. 
Um, it's our, our yeah. new bottle because new bottle. The other one got thrown. My brother had one and it disappeared. So now <laughs> there's here's another one. He, his brother's right next to us. Yes, sir. Uh, Aqua Atlantique. Um, Isn't that Will Smith's favorite fragrance? Or was it like back in the day? No, uh, Aqua, the original Aqua, I think. Mm. Maybe. So this is Atlantique. If you watch the video with Victoria, she almost threw up when she smelled this one. Um, <laughs> we probably won't feature this on a video ever again because it's gotten the worst reaction of any fragrance ever. It's very back. salty, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like a weird salty blue. Um, don't believe the hype. Um, don't believe the hype, guys. Yeah, it's Vict not it's good. Go back and watch the video with Victoria. No she power. straight up hated it. No power in that fragrance, guys. Okay, uh, we got Aqua de Parma Colonia Club. I have Colonia uh, Pure, um, which is it's a pretty nice, fresh fragrance. I've never smelled this one. It's like an old man kind of scent, to be quite old mature. Yeah. Like, I think it would smell good on, like, a solid, like, dad. Yeah. But like, a, a dad bit. with older kids, like, teenagers. Yeah. That kind of fragrance. But very, yeah, very much. I wouldn't necessarily wear this, but, you know, not a bad scent. I wouldn't pay the Aqua Department price, though, for this personally. But, yeah. Hey, there we go. Let's see. The boys are back in town. Yes, we are. Please tell me you got Pacific Lime. I haven't gotten it yet, but I plan on it. Um... The next one in the fragrance opening is uh, Man Platinum. Platinum, and I just smelled blue for the first time. They have a wow. new one. Wow. It smelled good. I think platinum. I think is better than blue, yeah. but platinum is now discontinued. So if you do like platinum, get it sooner than later. Yeah. Um, is your Sauvage EDT the best formulation of the starting lineup? What's the good summer signature scent? Yeah. Yeah, I, EDT is the best one. Summer lineup. Um, what would you say? Yeah. Well, I've straight up been rocking this one all summer, and then I've also been wearing uh, Geo Absolute. That's our favorite of the Geo line. Yeah. Um, we don't like the other Geos. Yeah, I would say it. Um, Dolce & Gabbana, the Extreme, um, the Lacoste Blanc is cool. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the Colonia Pura Armani Coat just kind of goes with anything, anytime. Yeah. Have you ever heard any like, clean scent will work? And here's the affordable version of Colonia Pura. Yeah. Ours in here, John, John Barbato's. <laughs> yeah, really. I also kind of like it's a little softer almost yeah. than uh, uh, Colonia Pura. So I this is it. Jeremy Fragrances. It is like, like Miami well, these are his two favorite summer fragrances. It's Miami Beach scent or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all white scent. All white suit, guys. Uh, this did get discontinued, so wow. just know that. I would pay under 50 bucks for it. I wouldn't pay more than 50 bucks, though. Yeah. So be aware. Havas, speaking of Havas. Oh, yeah. Havas. Yeah, it's Havas. It's crazy. Um, this is my favorite winter scent, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, smells amazing. Luke's now got a bottle. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. It really does smell good. It's like uh, Invictus on steroids, kind of performance wise. Um, scent very kind of like a similar vibe to me and then in the cold weather it does really well it kind of changes changes it feels like a sexy sweetness yeah kind of, yeah that's why i wear it mainly in the cooler months because i think it like changes a lot about it um and if you watch the videos the girls always love the boss yeah, they just love the boss guys all right oh haha individual wow so many notes in this it's like chocolate raspberry fabric softener um, there's like a ton of notes in this one. It's cool. I have it. I've barely worn it, but I, uh, I've had this bottle for a few years now. So this is yours now, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like chocolate raspberry pepper softener. Smells good. Yeah. It smells good. Very like, uh, artificial smelling. Yeah. I feel like it's an office safe. It smells right like here. a detergent, like a good, like a scented detergent of some sort, but it's good. Um, uh... Uomo Casual Life oh. by Salvatore Ferragamo. This is like a uh, lemon meringue pie. Oh, yeah. I think. So I know the other one's Tammy Soup. Yeah, it's like Gourmandi Summer. Yeah. That's nice. It smells good. That's very nice, yeah. Um, yeah, so. Oh, Bentley for Men Intense. I, um, I've i seen, what's his name? Uh, the, the British guy. It's funny. He like makes little intros and whatnot. Oh, um, smelly sense. Is smelly sense. It sense? might be smelly sense. He so loves this one. This one British guy. He posts. He likes this one as like a masculine 
kind of scent. So let's see. So, so I think it's a, a leather. It's supposed to be like an affordable niche smelling fragrance. Yeah. I, I, it's like I didn't smell anything. It's like a nice leather, to be honest. Yeah, it's a boozy leather. Yeah, nice. I like it. Yeah. It's definitely your kind of scent. It's good. Very good. Yeah, Bentley for men. Intense. It is Mr. Smelly. Mr. Um, Smelly, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I don't think it's the other British guys. They don't yeah. really talk about so much. Uh, the next one is Prada Lome Leo, which is their fresher version of Prada Lome. Nice. It smells like a fresher version, probably. Yeah. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's like summertime kind of vibe. Um, yeah. Should we check some the comp? Best Dior private line fragrance? Uh, I don't know any of the private lines. Yeah. They don't really sell them at any location near us. I don't know. Um, cool. cool Water Wave. Okay. What do y'all think of YSL for summer? Heard Oh Fresh and Old Team are decent. Um, I like Old Team a lot. It just got discontinued, but you can still find it for affordable. So it, you should buy it now. Uh, oh, fresh! I just smelled for the first time a couple days ago. It smells like a lemon ginger to open, and then it's the exact same as Y within like 15, 20 minutes. So it's nice, slightly different, but it's just, it just smells like Y. Speaking of Y, just bought Prada Black. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Prada Black, baby. So speaking of Y and Prada Black, here's Y and Prada Black. Nice. Um, everyone knows Luke loves Prada Black. Now I'm gonna have a bottle of Prada Black. Thank you. And Luke wears the EDT it's of Y. I, have I have the EDP. Um, it gives me a headache though. <laughs> and I don't think this has even been sprayed. It hasn't. Um, this wins almost every time it's on a video. Gives me a headache though. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good, but it's one I don't wear. All right. Clue. C.H. Mint Privé. Two privés? What is this? You guys are the reason I started getting fragrance, and thank you for getting me into this amazing hobby. No problem. Thank Benjamin. You. Yeah. You guys are anything from Hermes? Uh, no, we don't really like them. They smell like old men fragrances to us. Um, how about Dunhill Century Icon? This one is. London Icon, or Racing, Icon Racing, and this is just that Dunhill Icon. Um, I actually bought this bottle once and sold it immediately because it smelled like an old man to me when I, on my skin. So I, I don't love. I don't love either, but it's not bad. And then this is their bubblegum version of Dunhill Icon Racing. It's supposed to be their like sweet, fresh. My, yeah. I like this one a lot yeah. better. Very this bubble one's gum. much better. Very bubblegum to me. Nice. Um, cool water is better than the original. Cool. Um, EDP is better than the EDT. We can agree with that for why. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the EDT though is easier to wear just casually. Yeah. You're right. Fragcom is the best community hands down. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, CH Men, the classic boozy uh, leather jacket um, vibe. It's very leather jacket, very now, yeah, tobacco uh, booze. Yeah, very leather, very strong leather scent. It's, I don't. It smells like a leather. Do we think it's as sexy house. as people have made it out to be? No, I don't think it's. I don't think so. Either. Super. I don't think it's sexy. It just smells like a leather couch, like a nice leather couch. Yeah. It smells good, but like I know Jeremy loves this one, and I don't see yeah. the appeal of it. Yeah. But like it smells very literal, like a leather couch. Yeah, like a fresh, a boozy leather couch. Like you're smelling leather. Um, yeah. But it, I mean, could you wear that for like a two-hour night out with some friends? You could. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. Probably yeah. Probably not. Probably. All right. So this is Playboy. Someone actually asked me about this one in the comments. Playboy fragrance. Yeah, um, it is Playboy. I don't know any Playboy fragrances. Doesn't even say what it is. So if you guys know what Playboy fragrance this is, let us know. Uh, okay. Playboy mystery fragrance. You ready for Playboy? Let's see. Huh. 
has like a powdery sweet vibe to it. Oh, I got it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, not bad. That's it's actually it's like a powdery kind of sweet vibe. I might want to. I might even test, test it out. It out. Yeah, that it could out. actually be a pretty good one. Yeah, you like cheaper fragrance. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Just make sure we got all the questions. I'm not the biggest fan of CH Men Privé. Yeah, I can resume it's definitely better. You need to give me a bottle of Code Absolute as well. Love that one. Yeah, totally worth it. Um, next two, quick two, boom. Javonchi, gentlemen, uh, we got these right before the, the corona happened. Love it. Great. Um, it's like a, a great nighttime scent, which it's not as flashy as Prada Black, if that's the word. Yeah. Um, but I would use it like in similar occasions. Um, yeah, I think I, said, I think the girls will like it. Tonka, really Tonka heavy it's, fragrance. It's iris um, and yeah. or Oris, I think is the main version of Iris that's in there is Horus. Yeah. Um, Very nice. Speaking of Tonka, Alorum Sport Oak Stream. This is probably my favorite Tonka based fragrance, and yeah. I think it smells freaking great. It is the most complimented fragrance I've had in the last like two or three years. Every time I wear it, people comment on it. So if you like this even a little bit, just know that you'll get good reactions from Yeah, very safe. I just wanted to grab this. This is Dunhill. I don't know what this is. Something by Dunhill. But look at the this. bottom. No? Oh, yeah. Sentry. Sentry, okay. Well, look at this. It's like a little freaking, I don't know what it is. It's so weird, like some stores carry Dunhill and then some stores don't. I think I've only ever seen it at Nordstrom's. Yeah. It's like a powdery, a little bit of a zest. Yeah. Powdery, like a little bit of like a lemon zest or something. Kind of unisex. Yeah. Nice. I can picture a Dunhill Center, yeah. All right, next one is La Lique Pour Homme. La Lique. Um, and then we'll just pull the second one out. La Lique White. Okay, okay. That's supposed to be a good summer one. I've never smelled it, but. No, oh, no, <laughs> no, don't, if you own this one, just give it away. It smells like an old grandma, yeah. <laughs> like straight up an old grandma. Yeah. But then, Let's see what white smells uh, like. Uh, like um, white. Like a slightly like zestier version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad, no. Not my first choice for summer fragrance, but La Lique. not awful. Cool. <coughs> Bless you. Chanel, Paris, Paris. Eau de Toilette, Pour Monsieur. Um, yeah, I don't even know this Chanel one. I think it's older. Yeah, it looks older. It's a little bit of zest, a little powdery zest kind of vibe to me. A little mature. Yeah. I feel like 50s. This is a good scent for someone in the 50s. Yes, yeah, it's clean. It's a best perfumes to Marley fragrances. I don't know. We're not the biggest perfumes to oh, Marley fan. Yeah, right here, but yeah. The smell of it. Um, I mean, the best one is probably uh, Percival, but it smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. First, uh, Fierce. Because um, it's a clone of Fierce. It's a nicer clone of Fierce. Is there Koros? We call it here Germany Stink Death. There's no Koros in this box, but we still have like 20 plus fragrances left. So let's each grab one. So was it Luna Rosa Black or Prada Blown Intense? Prada Black. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Between those two, definitely. Yeah. Ah, Carbon. So Luke's been looking forward to carbon because I took the bottle of carbon that we bought at the beginning of COVID. Yeah. And that's the one fragrance he wanted for his it's collection. Fragrance I actually wanted. Like that. I was like, okay, this should go for my collection. It's like a, like a Sprite kind of vibe. Like a nice Sprite. Sprite Sauvage. Sprite Sauvage, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the best way to put it. It's this Sauvage and it's just Sprite. What's happening, Jim and Luke? What's up, Professor X? Um, and then this is our like fourth bottle of Profumo. Profumo. We have it. It's been in many videos. Um, 
I don't really like it that much. That's okay. I used to love Geo back in the day, but Profumo I've never. I don't understand the hype of Profumo. Yeah. The incense note, the iris note. It just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. It smells nice, but it's like doesn't like make me want to wear it. Yeah. All right. Grab one. Okay. This is Uomo Moshino. And we just we've done Toy Boy a bunch in the last couple months. Let's see what this one smells like. Is it zesty? Hold on. It's another powder, very powdery. Yeah, a lot of powder. Powder is zesty. Not my favorite. Yeah, it's it's like I feel like a lot of these kind of have that powder is zesty. I mean, he's, Gary was into that kind of scent. Yeah. Powder well, zesty. he's collected quite a few. Ooh, so. yeah. <laughs> um, and this is Toos by who knows? <laughs> this is. It says Toos. Yeah, I've never even heard of it. Toos. Can not see that? Smell it's, it. It's in a blue bottle. Is that on the bottle? There's something on the side. Two Man Sport. <laughs> All right. It's called Two Man Sport. Okay. Good there is so be, much fragrance in the air right now. Could this be a gym set? Let's see. Could definitely be a gym set. Yeah. Two Man Sport. <laughs> it literally just smells like shower gel. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Not a bed. Not bad. Yeah. First, I feel like you could just spray that one and just be like, yeah. we're in our gym right now. So good gym. Home oh, gym. Getting built. <laughs> so we're not going to really talk about these ones because you guys know about them, but Blue Chanel EDT. Versace Dylan Blue. And I'm actually really glad I got this one because my EDT is from whenever it came out, like what? 2009. Yeah, somewhere around there. And it smells horrible now. So this will replace my horrible smelling one. And obviously Del Blue. Blue. Oh, Profumo. Profumo. So Fahrenheit. Eau de Parfum. Our money code Profumo. So we don't know why anyone would ever want to smell like gasoline. <laughs> yeah. We never got the appeal of the gasoline vibe. I, I it was funny, our buddy. The, like, the, one that, so good. the one that the uh, one that overly wore first instinct, uh, yeah. same Jose. He loves this every time we go into the store. Like he has to spray it and get a sample of it. Yeah, this smells like gasoline. Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have it on a video because we'll definitely test it with the girls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Perfumo smells like basil to me. See, that's what um, Essenza smelled like. It smelled like basil to me. The Perfumo. Oh yeah, it says it's a nice. Uh, it's almost like one million with a little more depth to it. I feel like the original one million. It's like a fizzy vanilla to me. Yeah, it's like very much in the category of uh, uh, "Stronger with You" by Armani. Yes, yeah, like it's super, super sweet. Yeah, sweet. Really cold weather. I feel like it'd be nice, like a nice kind of sexy cold weather vibe. Yeah, I don't think I would wear it anywhere else besides cool weather. Yeah, like seventy-five and below. But I, I'm into the sweeter kind of vibe, so I actually could probably get some more out of this. Yeah. Like sexy, like big night vibe. Best teenage fragrance. First one on your mind. Teenage. First instinct. First instinct is pretty yeah. good. Um, the first one. Prada probably. carbon. But I feel like any age can wear Prada carbon. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a good choice. Um, speaking of teenager fragrances. Uh, Legend Spirit! I got a lot of compliments on that actually. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. This was like my gym scent for like two years. Yeah, someone on one of the videos where we had it and we recommended it to a teenager, they're like, I'm in my 50s and I think that's a mature smelling scent. And I'm like, it's just like clean. It smells it's like a nice, like, youthful aftershave almost yeah. kind of vibe. But it's so yeah. clean and fresh that I'm like, I don't get how you can think that it's it's not old. Like it's, anyone can wear it. Doesn't smell old. All right, get into some weirder ones in here. Um, Aquan Geo. I mean, wait. No, Loma Ten Geo. smells like YSL Y E P. Uh, I don't. I don't get the same vibes from those. I hate Fahrenheit. It smells like cardboard. Um, oh, ever, this is from Spain. Nice. Ever tried Low Essenza E D P? I have not. Uh, favorite frag from the hall. We haven't gone through it all yet, so we'll pick a favorite after we go through it all. <laughs> I hate Fahrenheit. That little smells like cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it smells like straight gasoline. Yeah. 
It's like, um, oh, you spilled on yourself. So, Profumo is similar to Cloche Platinum to me. Uh, I don't, not to me. I don't, not to me either. Maybe even if you haven't smelled a lot of different kinds of fragrances. Uh, or like, I, I'm trying to think of similar notes. I don't know. Like when I only had like two fragrances, like back in the day, I had, you know, the Invictus and I had Chio. So if I smell anything that smelled like that, I'm like, oh, this smells like Chio, even if it didn't, because I, all I knew was like those two scents. So maybe if you haven't smelled a ton, then like, I guess they have like a sweet note in both of them, but they're completely different fragrances. Yeah, it just smelled Geo and Geo. Like Profumo yeah. just smells like Geo to me. Yeah. Like I don't even get a heavy incense from it. Yeah. Um, um, good evening. All right, we're all caught up. I love Strong With You, top three fragrance for me. Don't know why. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, Luke wears it. I used to, I, I kind of haven't worn it as much because I feel like there's something about it. Like if it's not super cold outside, it kind of irritates me. Yeah. Because it's, it's like this like rough sweetness. I, don't I wore one in my night um, yeah. like a month ago or like two months ago and it was hot out that day. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm indoors. I'm in air conditioning. And it was not the move. Yeah. It could feel a little synthetic. That's what it is too. Uh, strong with you sometimes. Uh, but yeah, but I, do, I do like this scent. Uh, okay. What is this? N NT Ba. Some sort of Middle Eastern fragrances. It says first impression lasts forever. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Here's our first impression of And this is Endiba. Oh, it's a Rosasi fragrance too. Oh it is? Yeah. Rosasi. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Let's <laughs> discover. Rosasi. Alrighty. Oh, dude, that smells like beer. It really it smells does. like beer. <laughs> it's right on the box. Look, it really smells like beer. Is it like your spray? Spray right there. It smells like pure beer. It smells like some sort of like alcohol. We're giving it to the <laughs> brother. It's just <laughs> it, it really smells like, like beer. It smells like a beer and like like some random alcohol like mixed together. I don't know. <laughs> Here's my weird one. This is. Robert Graham Velour. I don't know this one at all. Well, we gotta clear up the air just a little bit. It's a little that window beer. used to open to my mom changed it. It's a little beer opening right now. Alright, so questions last forever. Velour. Uh does Ravazi well, before we smell this, well let's clear, let's answer yeah. some questions. Does Razazi Habas smell more like Invictus or Aqua? It's in between both and it's kind of its own thing. Yeah. It's not quite aqua, not quite Invictus. Oh, um, yeah. If I wear that cologne, will I get a DUI? Maybe. You, they would <laughs> yeah, they check you. I think they would check you. It smells like a, like cocktails mixed with beer. Like, you know what you should do? It would be probably a terrible idea. But do like a video where we just put on every single fragrance we own, just mix it. It's like get reactions. <laughs> I think uh, Big Beer Business, he did that once. He sprayed like 20 fragrances yeah. in a sample bottle and then gave the sample bottle away. Yeah. It's like, like a weird it's a donation like, thing. Like just to see, like let's spray it, let's spray it one of each. Just like, one spray. Smell like well, I think the best way to do it would be to once get a get a yeah. Sephora bottle, one spray in each. And then spray yourself. All right. Velour by Robert Graham. Huh. It smells like licorice. Yeah. Like a black licorice vibe to it. Gourmandi. Yeah. I feel like you need to like you definitely need to like licorice for this one, but no. it's not bad. Not bad. I wouldn't personally wear it. Yeah, me either. But decent. Yeah. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. Eight to go. All right. All righty. Oh, boss bottle. Intense. Intense. Hugo boss bottle. So I think someone asked earlier about. It. Boss bottle. They did. We're, we're, we're at it. That was like the first question of the day, I think. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's like a gourmandy apple. Yeah. It's just kind of like calm to me. It doesn't really do much. It's not like a distinct kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 We are totally Hello. live. Shout out Luke's mom. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, one of our fans, um, Gave us 50 fragrances to review. 
<laughs> Are you kidding? What a fantastic guy. Yeah. Because we were like, I guess he was moving and he couldn't bring his whole collection. So he kept 50 and gave us 50. That is so super cool. Yeah. yeah. So like, like pretty much full. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. All right. I wanted to ask you guys when, when you're done. Okay. Okay. We have like six fragrances left. Of course, yeah. Right. The bench. I put it together. That looks great. Oh, it's so compact. You can store it up. They say hi, Luke's mom. Hi, <laughs> guys. I'm going to go make you guys brownies. Ooh. Uh, do you spray throughout the day? Yeah. yeah. Um, rubber Graham has nice shirts, though. Uh, thoughts on wanted tonic? Uh, pretty much the same as Victoria in the video. It's, it's fine. It's a gym scent. If you want to pay for it as a gym scent, it's a great gym scent. But oh, I kind of grab it. Sorry. Did I smell it? No, I don't think so. Because... We, we got it after we had social distance. Mm. Uh, good fall and winter teen scent without tobacco. We'll get there in one second. Let's finish the box. Um, this is Gear, the power of Norway. Gear Ness. Gear. The power of Norway. I'm just going to spray it in the cap. The power of the Viking. Kind of smells like a Tommy style fragrance. That's got to smell a lot of color. Yeah. It smells a little bit fresh, like a mix between Tommy and Abercrombie. I think my nose is out, bro. I just really smell alcohol. Yeah, I think my nose is out. Oh, my shirt smells like. Yeah. My shirt smells like Fahrenheit, right? <laughs> yeah. Kind of like a mix between an Abercrombie, like Fierce and. Wait, that's Sean. Am I, am I going crazy? Yeah. I smell like it just smells like straight alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I smell. I, I smell like a little bit of the citrus, I guess. Yeah. That's not some citrus, but like it's pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I got a 50 ml for me and my dad. It's great. I don't know which fragrance you're talking about, though. Ultramel, good for a party. Speaking of Ultramel. It is definitely and, good for a party. And so is Versace Eros. They're kind of like similar um, settings that you would wear these two. It's more kind of vibe, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. This one's a little bit more playful than Eros. Eros is a little bit more, I don't know, like similar vibe. Yeah. It's like, yeah. a bubblegum vibe, though. Matt has a bubblegum vibe. I'm um, with the pear. I'm not sure the notes all in here, but I still. Very and bubblegum for those of you that are asking or will ask, this is made in France. I don't know oh, if dude. that's the good bottle or not, because I know there's a couple different ones. But, okay. Eros, oh. Classic, strength of the ocean, dirty tangerine, dirty oranges, uh, Olgari Aquamara. Uh, smells like a dirty orange. <laughs> it works good in high heat. Yeah, high heat. Uh, Jeremy loves it. But, uh, really loves it. I don't even want to spray it, to be honest. I have a bottle of it. I have a bottle too. All right. That's a their travel bottle. So much easier to store. Yeah, the <laughs> round ones you can't release. Really, you know, they're kind of annoying. Yeah. I mean, the round ones look like this. Yeah, it's like. And those are either so joint cool. now. Aquil Antique sucks. Um, but <laughs> three fragrances left. Oh, this. Is, let's just do a whole thing on this one. What is this? Cotty musk for men. God. It's like the, the mall cart of cologne, you know, with the red appearance. <laughs> oh, 50 mil of pride carbon. That's what we got too. It's somewhere on our yeah. table. Cotty musk. I'm going to spray it on here just because I don't want it in the air. This looks like it's going to be terrible. It changed the color of the, uh, the box. So it's. You don't want to spray it on a white shirt. Yeah, don't spray it. <laughs> 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 oh, it just smells like ladies, like baby powder. It smells like a powder or something. It's a little musky. It smells like a lady something. Is it makeup? Oh, it's horrible. It's yeah, like a little lipstick powder. Powder. Yeah. Lipstick. It smells like lipstick. Yeah, it smells like lipstick to me. Yeah, it yeah. smells like a makeup bag. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why uh, it's very feminine. All right, last two. Spice Bomb Extreme. Yes, good winter scent, guys. I have that one. 
I feel like this only works though when it snows. Super cool. Yeah, like snowy cold. Um, I would never wear this when it's not yeah. super cold. Yeah. Um, and then Mont Blanc Legend Explorer. Jose had this one, our friend. Um, we got it for his birthday, I believe, last year. Uh, very similar to like the Invictus kind of vibe. No, um, you mean Aventus. Aventus vibe. Yeah, I was like, wait, that is not Aventus a vibe. Yes, yes. It doesn't smell like Aventus, though. No, it's different, but it has that pineapple kind of vibe that Aventus has. Um, it's good. It does smell good. Yeah, it gets compliments, too. I remember Chantal loves Yeah, so if you watch our video with Chantal, yeah. she gave it a 15 out of 10. Yeah, she and loves the That is her favorite. Yeah. And it really does. It smells good. Yeah. Um, it's one of those ones, like, yeah. you might get annoyed because it has a similar vibe to Aventus, but it works yeah. really well. And I feel like if the fragrance works, you shouldn't feel like, oh, I can't get it because it's it's uh, too similar. Like, we'll do Sauvage. Where's, where's the part of that? Oh, it's all good. It's in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, whoops. So, Sauvage and Carbon are very similar. But very different. Yeah. I feel like Sauvage, like, punches you in the face. Yeah, this kind projects of, more. This yeah. is more well-rounded. It's not as, like, flashy. I feel yeah. Like the Sauvage, like, really has, this, like, kind of roughness to it. Not rough, but, like, it has, like, an edge to it. It's, like, kind of like a bad boy kind of edge. Whereas Prada Carbon is, like, a cool, clean. Yeah, like, you can wear this on a date. You can yeah. kind of, you can wear this. More versatile. Yeah, way more versatile than Sauvage. Sauvage is easy, though. Like, if you're only going to have one fragrance, this is an easy one to just be like. Yeah. So is this one. This one projects more, though. Yeah, so if you're into sure. projection, this one wins. Yeah. All right, what's our favorite fragrance of the bunch? Or let's, ask, let's answer the questions first. Uh, please say the name, guys. Haha, -ha, love your videos. Say my name. Jasper. What's up, Jasper? Jasper. SC. Dope, dope. I'm um, surprised you like Boss Bottle considering you the apple note. So it smells like a sweet apple, not a, because um, I do like Privé by One Million, which is a sexy apple cider. Privé. Privé. Um, but I don't like, like I hate the apple in Y. It gives me a headache and I don't like the apple in um, Late either. Good fall and winter scents without tobacco. Mm. Wanted. Wanted's pretty good. I don't want to have tobacco. tobacco. Yeah, 100%, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's, um, not a lot, though. It's not super tobacco. Wait, wait, wait. Out. I don't know. Like, for how old? I think they're, I, they were the ones that asked the question. Correct. Yeah, so let's, like a team. let's do um, go with the sweet fragrance. Yes. The Luco Blonde, yes. You could oh, do God. Absolute. You could do Armani Code Profumo. Yeah. Um, Prada Black. Those would be like. Probably my go-tos, because I'm not a big tobacco fan either. Mm. And ladies don't really like the tobacco so much as well. Um, have you tried Versace the Dreamer? I have. I smelled the original formulation because of Jeremy. He sprayed that like every time I was with them in March. Armani Code Profumo? Yes. Any other questions before we decide which are our favorites? Uomo Intense. <laughs> that, that's the one that's the uh, term signature. Term yeah. 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 All right, so let's go with favorites of ones we don't currently own. Yeah. I'm going to go with, I'll, I'll give you three and I'll have Luke give you three. Um, ours and Pure. Uh, well, this is tough. Casual Life. And probably the Dunhill Icon Racing. Um, I chose that one over Invictus Aqua just because it's a little bit different than Aqua. And we have the Invictus. So. Um, from a sense of me just picking what I'm going to actually like grab a to like wear, I would say obviously uh, Carbon. Um, and then I would say. I own it already, so I don't. Yeah, need to. Jeff already owns <laughs> it. Uh, I might try out this uh, this Bentley Intense for like a nighttime situation. Because why not? Yeah. Um, and a nice vibe to it. Uh, honestly, uh, 
Then I'll probably grab the Oak Stream. Jeff has this. Yeah, it smells great. I don't have it, so I'll grab that. Um, yeah, I, I kind of forgot already what some of them smelled like. Some of the new I ones. mean, we just sprayed of uh, the 52, 52. We probably sprayed, what, 40 of them? Yeah, so. Yeah, it's, it's real gross smelling in here right now. There's a lot, but yeah, I'm excited. Some unique stuff in there. Um, and because it's summertime, that's why I'm going to I'm gonna try to use, like, yeah. Artisan Pure. And that's why I picked three fresh scents for my three picks, because I kind of want to wear the, the fresh vibe. Yeah, Artisan Pure is cool. I want to try this at the gym, this Spanish. The or two. French. Was it French? Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, the two, so I'm going to try this. Oh, let's try it again. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Um, casual Life over Blue de Chanel EDT. Blue de Chanel EDT is way better than Casual Life. But for summer, I might wear Casual Life in the daytime more often. Do I? If I smell casual, the Givenchy? E, no, this one. Or, well, oh, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, I like that one as well. I forgot about that one. Yeah. This just smells good. Um, but Blue de Chanel is definitely a better fragrance than this one. But. You have to want to wear your fragrances, and I'm not in the blue de Chanel yeah. wear mood. Even though I yeah, I feel like I would wear that actually over the blue de Chanel just because I'm kind of like yeah, blue de Chanel. Like I've smelled it; it's kind of become like everyone kind of wears it. But I don't know, like I, that's kind of different to me. Yeah, it's a cool vibe, and it's hot right now. Yeah, I, I, everyone lives right somewhere now. different. Yeah. We're in LA; it's yeah. it's warm. But uh, yeah. um, cool. Uh, guys, what do you think about Armani Code? I've heard it smells good, but for a short time. So uh, I, I had a bottle, but this was Luke's first. I uh, know I actually had a bottle when I was like twelve. I had the, the black OG. Yeah. Code, yeah, performance is just trash, but it's a great scent. Yeah, we filmed a video once with our first fragrances, but the video turned out trash, so we never posted it. <laughs> yeah. It really turned out bad. Um, Colonia is cool. I wear that all the time, but yeah, performance isn't great on Armani Code stuff. So. I would recommend Armani Code Colonia if you're interested in the fresher Armani Code. Yeah. Um, otherwise, get the two sexier ones, Profumo or Absolute, and Absolute is much sexier than Profumo. So Absolute is probably the and Colonia are the two best. Um, what's a good lavender base fragrance? Oh, oh my favorite, <laughs> Jimmy Choo Man Intense. That is the yeah, last one. Good. Yeah, that's super sexy. I wear that all the time, actually. Doesn't last a long time, so just be aware of that. But it, it does nice, smell good. Sexy lavender. Not inoffensive, clean. Yeah. Prada anything? Uh, Prada rocks. Carbon, black. Low. Those are mine. I mean, Prada's, Prada, <clears throat> Prada and Paco Rabanne are probably what the, the two most versatile. Um, brands right now. Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne. Uh, Cashy. Cashy wins all the time. It's amazing. One of the best scents. Oh, you have, you have a bottle of that, right? I do have a bottle. Sweet, so I get that. Yeah. It's it's money. I remember I just like want to buy that like a few years ago. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I just wait. And then, cool. We waited. Yeah. And you, he was literally about to buy I this. Buy that, yeah, I was the only one actually that was like dying Wait. in the collection. And I was literally tempted to, there was a few I almost bought to buy. Like I almost bought this one. Yeah, um, that was nice too. I don't love this fragrance. I enjoy this fragrance though. It's, but it was one of those ones where I was like, I'll only get it if I see a good deal. I wonder what 50 he kept. <laughs> yeah, I guess. What does this man have? Niche. It's probably all niche. All niche yeah. 1.50 fragrances could you uh, That's on First Instinct Extreme. I haven't smelled Extreme, yeah, yeah, but it. First Instinct's great. And I've heard First Instinct's better than the Extreme one. Um, which smells longer, Eros or Ultramel? They both last pretty long. Mm -hmm. Ultramel is real strong. Right? Ultra is a beast. I would lean Ultramel. Ultra How come you guys don't do clone houses like Dua or Alexandria? Uh, they're clones. Um, we can just do the real product of it. Um, Burn. I mean, the, if they paid us all money, yeah, like, we would have it. Sure. But like, I'm aware. yeah, I mean, we have the real products in front of us. Um, and if they paid us, I still wouldn't do the clone version. I would probably do one of their mixes. Like, this is a mix of this product and this product. Because to me, that's more of a unique take on something versus like. 
hey, this is a clone of Aventus. Because we, we own Club de Nui and Tense for Men. Yeah. Um, About that like a few years ago. It smells nothing like Aventus. And it kind of smells like pine salt. <laughs> yeah, it's more just like a chemically pine salt version of Aventus. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it, if you're going to choose between the two, Aventus smells so much better. Yeah. Um, but it's 30 bucks. So. To meet in the middle of the event is, which is not really in the middle. Well, if you're going to meet in the middle, yeah. just get explore. explore. It's it's it smells way better, and it doesn't. It's not. It's not really a clone. Yeah, exactly. Um, Prada isn't great on the discounter prices, though. Yeah, it is. Where did you get yours for? Like, I got this for forty bucks. Forty bucks, yeah. Um, almost all Pradas you can find online for pretty good deals. Go to Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, Fragrance Buy.ca. All those eBay. Um, right is Prada Black cost more than carbon? That is a good question. It is. It, it's about twenty bucks more than carbon. Because um, it's more, right? I don't know. It lasts longer. It's. I don't know. It could be cost of ingredients. Yeah. Um, it's unique compared to carbon, which yeah. isn't as unique. But carbon smells great. Uh, I hate ours and pure, but I think I'm alone in that. It's not a love for me either. Yeah, it's not like a love, but it's just cool. Like, yeah, I never never caught my attention until I heard like the beach kind of vibe. The you know. Yeah, so we were in Malibu at store was Sephora. It? No, it wasn't Sephora. It was uh, the John Vergato store. Oh yeah, uh, and it was hot out that day, and that was the first time I was like, oh, I get it. Yeah. It has to be very specific. Like I, I would only wear it when it's super hot out and probably in a white t-shirt. <laughs> like it's like that kind of vibe. Um, but there's like, this is definitely a better summer fragrance. Uh, but there's, there's specific things for everything. Yeah. Opinions on Pedro and Pedro Frags. Uh, P. Pedro. Um, I haven't spelled Rebel because he cloned uh, Aventus and then he cloned Geo. So don't really have an opinion on Alpha's fragrances because right, I haven't yeah. smelled it, but they are clones. Um, I got an example of Prada Black and all he's got is Darker ISO E. Um, I, don't, I don't smell, it doesn't smell like. Um, ISO E smells like nothing to me. So yeah. I can't really, or Molecule One, if that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it smells like nothing to me, so I can't even. I think this smells like something. Yeah. <laughs> I can smell Prada Black. Yeah. yeah. Go heavy on it. <laughs> Give yourself a bath. Prada Loam should be cheaper. Yeah. When I got, this isn't Prada Loam, but it's low. Uh, my bottle was 60 bucks on Amazon when I got mine. Um, that, I feel like that was 60 bucks is affordable like for that. It's in the store. It's what they got. Yeah. Yeah. Like half off. Blue de Chanel, Eau de Parfum, or Cashy. I think Cashy will get you insane compliments from people, and it's easier to wear. Blue de Chanel, Eau de Parfum, that's not good, um, too. But this one grabs your attention. It actually just smells better in the air. All right. All right. Do you guys have a favorite John Barbados? Uh, it's the black. John Roberts, like that's what the name on it. Yeah, John Roberts. John Roberts. It's clean. That's like a gym fragrance kind of vibe for me. Yeah. It's very clean. That's so it. Be, yeah. The Nick Jones ones I don't like. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Hey guys, we've missed you. What are you up to? What should be premiered so that we know it should be happening? It's such a surprise. So I was out of town for six weeks. Luke's been here. Um, we're still on pretty much, LA's not really open. Yet, yeah. So our girls will probably be a minute before we have girls back on. Um, Chantal will probably be our first guest. <laughs> yes. um, so if you want six fragrances for Chantal to smell, let us know in the comments, and we'll try to get Chantal to smell those fragrances. But it's still warm out, so we'll probably do think of it as summer fragrances for Chantal. Um, other than that, maybe Alana. We could probably get Alana <laughs> over. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're always open to ideas and all that jazz. I ordered Dylan Blue by Versace. Do you think I made a good decision? I have only one fragrance. 
if you got it for a good price, it's a, it's nice. Yeah, but if you pick one, the U.S. Lodge. <laughs> I would mix the Lodge over Dylan Blue. But if you get that for like twenty bucks, or yeah, something. you should. It honestly, this is a hundred mil bottle. You should have gotten it for like thirty-five bucks, um, forty bucks tops. If you spend over that, it's not a good deal. Um, I the incense is too strong on it yeah, for me. Yeah, it's okay. It's, well, I just thought it's okay. It's my second, like. Of my favorite blues is probably my least favorite of the blue fragrances, but it's better than Aqua Atlantique. Yeah. So, like, I actually don't like that one where I don't it's mind this one, yeah. but I don't reach for it. Yeah. I mean, like today I'm wearing Office for Men, so. Yeah, I'm wearing Office for Men too. All right. Always <laughs> under all this. That's all that's <laughs> nice. Nice. Office for Men, double. And I, I gave Gary a bottle of Office for Men too for giving us all these fragrances. Nice. Um, how is Product Carbon doing? And in your new haul, which French frags did you get? Jean Paul Gaultier, Ultramel again. We got a few in there. Oh, I guess La Lique. La Lique. Um, you'll have to go back and watch. Yeah. <laughs> we went over all of them. Uh, and how is Product Carbon doing? It's doing great. Luke now has his own personal bottle of yeah. Product Carbon. We decided to put these in the case. So yeah. we're both uh, to organize them there. Uh, I've been wearing, I wore carbon so much at the beginning of summer. The last couple of weeks I've, I brought four fragrances with me on my trip. I brought Gucci Guilty Love. Um, what else did I bring? Uh, Geo Absolute, uh, Light Blue Intense. And then I had a decant of um, Mont Blanc Explorer with me. And, they're good. I used it a lot. Gucci Guilty Love, I probably used the most on that trip. Um, that's the, I think that's probably one of the easiest casual summer fragrances to rock. So if you smell it in the store, get it, because it's a, it's one of those that's year in, year out. But what have you been wearing lately? Uh, two, two minutes. Intense. Uh, office for Men again. Office, yeah, Office for Men. Uh. And then my, uh, yeah, my Givenchy to sleep, but honestly, a lot of the Jimmy Chimane Yeah. You know? And I wore uh, Lacoste uh, Pure Blanc, or Lacoste the White yesterday. Uh, unisex from Jeremy's not out yet, but I have snow black tie, and Luke snow black tie on me, and I've worn black tie three times, and that's the probably be out six months from now, probably, I'm guessing. Uh, it smells good. It's the best opening of all the fragrances. I haven't smelled unisex yet, so I can't tell you about that, but. Black tie is a, that's a winner. Cool. Uh, so I'm probably me and um, the fragrance apprentice are probably the only ones that have worn black tie multiple times. Um, it's good. Carbon light blue intense artisan and pure for Chantal. Cool. We can yeah we can definitely throw those three in there. We need three more though. We gotta get six. Uh, is it a good idea to layer fragrance like Jubilation 25 or Wood Mineral over Dylan Blue because of the Ambroxide? Um, sounds weird, but maybe it'll work. <laughs> that's, <laughs> putting two niche fragrances on top of Dylan uh, Blue, that's a lot of <laughs> smell. I don't think I put anything with Dylan Blue. Well, it should have get you arrested. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you weren't kidding about the light blue intense, but I think I'd rather buy Dolce Mugana K. I think K's... The grape uh, juice? Yeah. Yeah. K, light blue intense is much better than K. And it's all subjective opinions, but yeah. I think I like intense more. Yeah. K. It smells like grape juice. Yeah, it smells like for like 10 minutes and then it just smells kind of generic blue. Yeah. You gotta test the performance as well, too. Yeah. Uh, a German channel did girls testing last week on light blue versus Profumo and Profumo won. Uh, that's weird. I wouldn't put. They do light blue. Oh, extreme? <laughs> yeah. Did you get Unisex from Jeremy? No. Carbon or Sauvage? I think we said we like. They're both. They're different. They're both good. Yeah, I couldn't pick one. They're different. Carbon or Geo Absolute? They're. Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're very different, though. Yeah. One's a sweet, so, fresh fragrance. The other one's a uh, shower gel. Still carbon on that. Yeah. Geo. <laughs> Pay me a billion dollars to wear Geo. Oh, I, I wore Geo for like a month straight. So. Yeah. Or Absolute. Yeah. Let's <laughs> specify. I would, 
don't wear the other ones. I wear Geo Absolute. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you tried Profundo? Yeah, I've tried it. Who hasn't yet? But it's on the video. I don't want to smell it. Our last video with Victoria, um, she smelled it and she hated it. And she hated it. I, hated it. <laughs> I smelled it. I don't like it. Um, I think the hype on that one is false. Um, false advertising. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes hyping that one up, and I have the same opinion as Victoria. So if you watch the video, literally you can see her brain processing whether she likes it or not, and then that's how I felt. Uh, what's the difference between light blue original and O intense? The intensity. O extreme. It, it dries down different, and it lasts way longer. It's very, and this is tangier. Yeah, it's a different kind of vibe to it. Um, I know what this one smells like, so let me spray this one so I can get a refresher. Mm -hmm. Much lighter. Yeah. That's the main difference. This is stronger, lighter. Get this one. All right. All right. We're going to wrap this up in a few minutes. So have you tried uh, What's the difference between? Okay, got that one. It was like eight to two for Aqua de Geo, and the other was the intense light blue. Uh, <laughs> Luke's brother Sean's being a little cray. Uh, Aventus clone doing. Uh, it's good. I haven't worn it in six weeks though because I left it. I didn't bring any of these fragrances with me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I only smell DK on the card and store is much better. Invictus Y S L Y. Yeah, spray on your skin. Um, can I watch the beginning of the stream until it's done? So which are your five fragrances you got most excited about from this haul? Um, Carbon, Barbados, uh, the Bentley. Casual Life. Some of these we already have, so yeah. just know that like we're talking about the five fragrances that we don't already have, and some Luke is getting for the first time or I'm getting for the first time. So we each have double. Um, so we don't have to steal each other's fragrances. Yeah, no more steal uh, Legend Spirit, Aqua Geo Profumo, Dylan Blue for Chantel. For Chantel. Nice. Um, we might just do a blue video with Chantel too. Mm -hmm. Do all the blue fragrances. Any Chanel frags overrated? Cache has been reformulated and each one lasts about one, two hours from the 2020 batch. Um, I don't What's know what. Cache? What is what saying? Chalure, Allure, Ohm Sport, O Extreme is the initials. Oh, that's the. Yeah. Uh, this batch is. Mine. 4601. Um, my batch is from 2019 and it smells great. So, yeah. I can, I have no. Chanel doesn't really reformulate that much though, so I can't be sure with that one. Will Luki rebuy Pride Black once it runs out? Of course. But in real honesty, he'll probably just steal mine. Let's take Jess. Take Jess <laughs> right left. Because I don't wear, I don't wear it that often and. We hang out with very similar people, so we don't want to smell like yeah. have our date fragrances be the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Ten seconds left. I know there's a little pause, and then we'll let you. Um, then we're gonna we're gonna end today's stream. Almost an hour. Yeah. We went through 52 fragrances really quick. Dylan Blue doesn't project on me at all. It's from 2018. Same for you. I don't wear Dylan Blue anymore. I do not wear Dylan Blue. Uh, I think there's just better fragrances than Dylan Blue. Um, it's not a bad fragrance, but it's, I have too many in that category that I think it's my least favorite of that category, even though it smells nice. So if I'm reaching for a blue fragrance, it's not a grab. I do think it's funny we both wore Office for Men today. <laughs> Dylan Blue left Dylan Blue. All right. We are going to be signing off. Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll be back. Back. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll film a bunch of Chantal next time she's in town. She's in San Diego right now. Yeah. She'll come back soon. Yeah. She said either, uh, I think, after 4th of July. So, so hopefully sooner. Yeah. And then uh, we'll get some, some girls going on some videos again. Yeah. And... Hopefully we don't get locked down tomorrow because there's a rumor that LA is getting back yeah, on like oh, the night. Oh, closing July, for the yeah. July weekend, which is smart though. Yes. Uh, but yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Peace. Strength.